So, hello and how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to this beautiful stream. Ta da! Hi, Khalil. Hi, Elvis. Say hi, Jay. Welcome, everyone. Today, today we stretch, right? Today we're going to stretch mostly. Um, I'm freshly tattooed. Most of the that has been done was like up here, some black parts to fill that in. Um, but also some stuff here. But no color yet. Color next time, guys. Color next time. I was thinking that today it gets some color, but in the end, there was a lot of work still. Oh, she turned 80. Well, at that age, like one year plus minus doesn't make a big difference, right? I mean, I am each year, I am like before my birthday. I'm always thinking like, how old are you? Like, are you like, are you, are you 35, 36? Because like, it's getting, it's getting trickier, right? There's like the numbers, as, as the numbers get get higher, it's harder to, it's harder to remember. So, here we are. Stretching. Oh, there it was. Yes. I'm, I don't know. I have, I have my... I have my moments with um, numbers, and sometimes I feel confident with them, but sometimes it's just terrible. It's um, yeah. <laughs> well, so here we are, and yeah, it's a nice. It's a it's a paddle skirt. I have one in um, like violet as well, which is super nice. But I was wearing I'm wearing black today because there might be black ink like oozing off the tattoo. So yeah. I can show you the tattoo, by the way. Coming closer a bit. I mean, you don't see so much, but like here, this part has been done, and this down here. Well, you're gonna see more tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> With that, yeah. Well, we didn't not teach you. <laughs> well, we didn't. We we didn't have like school uniforms back in school when I went to school. We could just like. Yeah, but it looks like it looks like a skirt, right? A school a school uniform kind of kind of thing. It's really nice. I like this because like they're so you know they can. <laughs> so much fun wearing a skirt. And they're shorts underneath, right? So they're like, they're workout safe, right? They're workout safe. I uh, just, I got a tattoo today. Huh, Jonas? I got a fresh tattoo. It's like, this is uh, a uh, plastic transparent film on there. Because I just came back from Palma from a tattoo session. And I got the leg parts here done. Well, you gonna see, there's black color everywhere. <laughs> well, well, guys, uh, let's start. Thank you, Kalia, by the way. Let's start with the uh, the work. Well, it's not a workout, it's a stretching stream. We're just gonna stretch. I went to the park today and I already did some area silk, so we just we're just gonna stretch. So what we're gonna do here, um, come onto your knees in a tabletop position, right? Hands or wrist underneath shoulders, knees underneath uh, the hips. <laughs> Good <ground, yeah. laughs> And we do some cat cows. So when we do the cow, we look up, we arch our back, right? And we do the cat, we exhale, and we make a round back. I feel kind of stuffed at the moment. You gotta start slow. I mean, I didn't eat a lot, but like, I just like, I came home and I was hungry, obviously after the tattoo session. And I ate a mango and two yogurts, super nice, super yummy. But they still gotta like kind of. I still need to like uh, get them deeper down into my gastrointestinal tract. They in my stomach still, and I'm like, mm, I'm tasting mango. 
Can you bounce to the high, Marcus? Can you bounce from the exercise ball? We're gonna grab the ball later on, yes. We're gonna grab it later on, but right now we're doing some cat cows and we're stretching here. So the cow, and uh, the cat, and the cow. So nice. It's really nice to like move a bit after the tattoo session. My arm is kind of swollen. It's swollen, right? And this session wasn't like, it wasn't like very, um, let's say, it wasn't as like relaxing as they usually are. Let's tuck our toes and then let's come into a down dog, right? In a down dog, we try to bring our heels to the floor, try to straighten the legs and align our arms with our back. The important thing is to align the arms with the back first and then everything else. And we can pedal it out, lifting one heel off the floor and the other. So, um, this tattoo session wasn't as relaxing as some others are. Because it was mainly like my upper arm and the insides, a lot of the inside of my upper arms. It was, it was more painful than that the usual session is. Usually I find there's like parts of the session that are very relaxing. But today, most of the session was like annoying. But well... Now this is done. Hola, Sona. Hi. Whew. And down. Hi, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Complaining again about the outside work. Oh no, and they didn't call back? Wow, that's so dumb. I also still have a thing going on where I'm when my job from my from my old company, they have a number that they had to give me. Um, yeah, let's come into the down dog again, and from the down dog, it, um, let's move from down dog into plank and back, right? So down dog and plank. And I'm, I was expecting that they needed a, a certain like uh, number that I had to pass on to an office here, and they kept giving me the same wrong number, and I kept writing that it's the wrong number. It's the wrong number, and the guy, he just didn't, he just kept sending me the same number over and over again. And after three times, and like writing to another department, finally he sent me the right number. But now it's Friday again at the other office, there's no one working no more, so everything will take another week. So annoying, right? So I feel you, I feel you there with the work that's not getting done. So annoying. Oh well, that's just life. I mean, we can we can be lucky that these are the problems we have and that we don't starve and anything, right? You always have to be thankful for that. But anyway, still sucky, still sucky. Woo! And um, back. A few more. Let's stay in the down dark again. From the down dog, onto our knees, and tuck our toes, hands out, and we come into a nice puppy pose where we bring our chest towards the floor while our bum stays up there. Oh, it's so hot here. Whew. And up again. Sit in the camp position. Hi Rob, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We gotta open the chest here. What is this? Oh, this YouTube short. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, let's circle those wrists. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Circle those wrists a bit to one side and to the other side. Hi, Bertha. You can sit cross legged here for a moment, shoulders back. Forget the Akutan album. Look from side to side. I'm already a bit tired because I've been. I got up at 6.30 or 
45. And then ah, I went to Palma to go to the park to do aerial silk. And then the tattoo session. Bei mir auch alles gut. Bei mir auch alles gut. Here's the shoulders. Ich hatte einen langen Tag. Ich war im Park in Palma für Vertikal durch Akrobatik und ich hatte den Tattoo-Termin. Ich bin hier gekommen, jetzt aber Palma. Der Zug war zum Glück nicht ganz so voll. Also, ja, alles, alles ganz angenehm. Okay, let's open up, come into a straddle position here, right? And you can have your hands behind, not trying to see, yeah, no, not yet, behind your back and push forward to maintain a straight back here. If you can come forward with a straight back, then feel free to be in front here, feet are pointed. And maybe it's time for a coffee. No, coffee comes later. I feel kind of stiff though. Oh. Although I did stretching in the park after the workout, but yeah, being there, like getting to the tattoo, I was just lying on my back mostly, which is like, I wasn't lying in a weird position or anything, but still, I feel stiff. Let's come back to the middle, lean over to one side. Ah. Ah, si un café, si un cafecito. Un cafecito. Oh. And the other side. Oh. Oh. And drawing every move here. This session is going to be really slow, guys, because I'm, I'm feeling slow today. It's late here. Well, late. It's not that late. It's, uh, I think about 7.30 in the evening, so like it's not super late, but I've been out all day, just came home. Let's stay on that side. And over to the other side. Yeah, gerne. Ja, die sind bis jetzt sehr easy. Wir machen noch mehr, also wir machen noch ein bisschen mehr Splitting und so, aber aktuell fangen die ganz easy an. Back to the middle. And move back and forth here. Maybe you have your hands behind your back. And push to the front in case you cannot come to the front with a straight back. If you've been here before, you should know by now how to do that. It's real, well, it's morning in Seattle, yeah. You still have all of Friday ahead of you. <laughs> and we're here, it's almost over. Come on to your forearms if you can. Just if you can. Stay here for a moment. Maybe move from side to side. Enough. You can see we're out as well, so it's a good thing. Yeah, I'm trying, like on, on Fridays, I try to stream later anyway. Like sometimes I'm going to stream early as well, but on Fridays in general, I'm trying to stream a bit later so that everyone who's like has something to do at my usual streaming time can like catch me. So let's tap the opposite foot with our hand or the foot with our opposite hand, however you want to say it. And we can go really slow here, no need to rush anything. Ja, Leute, also es ist kein Grund, das super schnell zu machen. Wir können das alles langsam entspannt machen. Ja, das muss man immer dazu sagen, nicht, dass irgendjemand sich äh, da verpflichtet fühlt, zu, sich zu sehr zu stretchen und das dann auch nicht korrekt macht. Lieber korrekt machen und nicht so weit nach vorne gehen. Back into the middle. And as, as low as you can get. Like, uh, if you 
If you cannot get very low with the, with the straight back, you have your hands behind you and you push to the front. If you feel like you can take it up a notch, come down here. Leg straight, chest is leading. So if anything, we're touching the floor with our chest first. But it's okay to stay up here, right? Don't pressure yourself. life area but we have to face life every day flex your feet for a moment point them and flex point flex point and flex again lean over to one side feet are flexed feeling a nice bit in your side body to the other side. Ah, oh, so nice. Legs together. Come up here. Let's shake it. Take our skirt. Dance. Come to white dance. Right, white stance here, and then lean forward, hands to the floor, bending one leg, and then the other, one, and the other, very confusion. <laughs> you can like stay on one side for a moment and bounce a bit there, right? Dance it, take that skirt. Other side. And down. Can you get those elbows on the floor? Maybe you have to bring your feet wider apart to do that. Maybe not. Maybe even your head. Maybe you can bring your head to the floor and grab those ankles. But it's okay to be higher up, right? It's okay to be somewhere here or here. Just stay here for a moment. Come up. Feet together. So you can still see me in the mirror, right? Hi guys. Lift one foot, lift one foot on the floor and rotate. I can tell. And rotate the other way. Other foot. Rotating that ankle or circling that ankle. I like to zoom <laughs> And the other around. Come into first position, so in the first position, bop, bop, or legs or feet go out, and then ah, down to one side. I'm, I'm sorry, my head is like cut off, but I'm not going to change the camera angle for the little bit of standing that we're going to do here. Move a bit, shake. Down, 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 lie down your leg in that first position. You don't have to have a super big turn on 90 degrees is enough, right? Because you have to have this conversion. And up again. Whew. Up and foot. Whew. Up onto your tippy toes for a moment. Just a moment and hold it down. Readjust your feet and again hold it for a moment. Down. And now come to the end of your mat, right? 
lean forward, lean forward in a nice forward fold. Hands to the floor if you can. You can bend your knees here if that's easier. Right, bending those knees. You don't need to though, you can just leave them straight. If you want more of a stretch in the back of your leg. And then bring your hands together behind your back, intertwine those fingers, straighten the arms and pull up. And you can move them from side to side to intensify that stretch. Ah. Walk out into the down dog again. Heels off the floor and down, up, down. And down. Now lift one foot off the floor. Right. And bring that knee in between your hands into pigeon pose, right? Into pigeon pose. And you might be up here if you're a beginner, which is totally fine. Or you're all the way down with that thigh. It's like sideways, right? You can see sideways bend here. Good pigeon pose. Ah, we hold that. Then come down, if you can, rest your upper body on the front leg. And stay here for a moment. Come down, sit down. Up again. With the same arm, if you can, grab that back foot and hold that for a nice stretch of the shoulder, of the leg. Summer is finally coming. And down. Oh, really? Paris? This is crazy. I mean, isn't London too cold for Paris? They just like, they live, at, they live outside. Let's tuck the toe and come up. And we paddle it out again. So back into the down dog. And always lifting one foot out of the floor and then the other. A friend of mine who was living in Valencia said that in Valencia they have like a lot of like, like uh, colorful birds. Because they, I think they escaped at some point and now they're living there. But like, I mean, Valencia is way, way warmer than London. Interesting. Ooh. Now let's bring the other leg to the front. And we do the pigeon pose on the other side. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. I wonder what they do when it's getting really cold in winter, where they where they stay. Ah, oh, or maybe they 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 might fly, fly south. That was it. Well, no way. Maybe they do that. I don't know. Let's come down and rest our chest on our front leg if we can. Mm. Back up. Para pajaritos lindos. Sí. Ja, solange 
Solange das irgendwie geht, dann muss ja nicht, wie gesagt, man muss die, die Sachen immer an, anpassen an sein eigenes Petition. Now, if you can, with the same arm, grab that back foot for a nice stretch of the shoulder and also the leg. Go. Let's take a quick break. Drink something. The parents already also are oh, really. They are the better living there. In the, well, it's crazy. That's interesting, right? I think, I don't know, I think I told you guys about that, that I saw this like documentary on Rakut living in Berlin. And like in the... I've never seen one, but apparently there's like a lot of them. And here on Mallorca too. I mean, but they're like more adapted than parents, I guess, who live in a cold climate. But it's interesting how all these species like how the humans manage to like bring all those species to other places. Let's see the number. Oh. I mean, if they enjoy the climate, it's nice, right? And they're nice to look at. So, the parrots. Let's come into the tabletop position again, right? We tuck our toes here. And now from the tabletop position, we press up again into the down dog. And back into the tabletop position. We keep switching here so that we move a little bit, so that we, um, yeah, move. So that we don't fall asleep while stretching. I mean, I guess like in cities like London and everything, it's easy for them to find food, right? Because humans leave so much food everywhere and they're thinking, oh my God, this is like, uh, yeah, free food everywhere and nothing to do. For it to get it almost. <laughs> I ran away. Okay. Well, yeah. I would think the same. If I saw that, I would think that uh, that someone like lost their parrot. Well, someone probably did at some point, and then that parrot, uh, yeah, that parrot reproduced. Untuck your toes now so that we can stretch the tops of our feet. So we press up on the tops of our feet, right? Up. Up. And higher. If you can. Feeling a nice stretch there. Want to move here a bit. And up. Then again, we hang in the forward fold. And we sway from side to side, and there can be a bend or a micro bend in our knees. They don't have to be one. And we walk out into the cobra. No, you don't have to. Well, I, well, I apologize. We can talk about anything. And I mean, that with the parrots is super interesting. I mean, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. No, you're not crazy. You know. Shoulders down, long, elegant neck. We feel a nice stretch in our abdominal wall. It's fascinating. It's weird that we don't have a lot of like exotic birds or like colorful birds here living in the wild here on, in Spain or in the areas where I'm living. Because I would, uh, one would think that some like animals ran away and they would recreate, but apparently they don't recreate so much here because like I've, I've never seen a parrot in the wild here. Oh my God. But well, maybe they're, they're like more like they, they prefer the rainy weather of London. <laughs> maybe it's too sunny for them here. So nice. 
Yeah, green. Green carrot. I need one. Send me one. Tell one to fly over. Don't send it to me. Tell one to, to, to visit me. <laughs> now, into child's pose. Let go of all the tension in the lower back. I mean, I could use some some green parrots as like as a decoration. You know, they could be one could be sitting on the mirror, the other one could be sitting on the power tower. It would be nice, right? <laughs> I wonder if they'd get along with the cats. If they're big enough, they probably will. Wir gehen etwas vom Tag. What? What? Ich bin ein bisschen geschafft schon vom Tag. Ja. Yeah. And again, back into the cobra. We bend one leg and look over the other shoulder. Down. Other side. Oh, look. Look at that foot. Try to look at it. And down. Hug the toes. Up on the toes. And down dog and let's walk up again into that forward fall right this is like a super relaxing searching session you can see we're flowing from pose to pose and we're hanging in everywhere Yes, I do have like the. I I still have it like it's in my it's in the drawer there. I could like I could blow it up. So let's walk out again, and we come into a lunge. With one leg in front, the other one at the back, and we bound. I do have it still. I haven't like put it up. I haven't. I haven't put air in it. Back knee on the floor, untuck, untuck the knee, untuck the toe, and lean back. The arm goes back here. Hi, Lon Kane. Thank you. Yeah, the hair is great, right? I love it too. So nice. We try to bring that leg as close to the floor as we can while we turn here. And it's okay if you're still up here, right? You don't have to go all the way down. If you cannot, right? We always have all have a different level of flexibility. But as I always say, like my level of flexibility is pretty achievable. Like, of course, you will have to train. You will have to train to get there. Like, it's not going to happen overnight and it's not going to happen um, in a week. But like, I'm not super flexible. I didn't used to be very flexible. So... I will, my level of flexibility is pretty achievable for most people. Die dämliche Schnarchnatschstellung kenn ich nicht. And back up here. Bend the back leg, straight in the front leg. Come up here for a moment. Point the foot. Maybe hold on to a wall if you have to for balance. It's totally fine. And then lean forward, right? A bit with a straight back as low as you can get with a more or less straight back then turn that leg in the other one out and down and try to bring that chest towards the floor if you can I feel nice stretching the inner thigh of the straight leg oh. And up, back, and let's do that on the other side. So a deep lunge here, right knee, back knee off the floor, and we bounce up and down. Nice. Or move back and forth. Up to you. Wow, it's so hot today. It's so hot. Back knee on the floor, untuck your toe, 
and that arm goes back here and we kind of turn a bit to the back and try to bring that leg here Wait. that back i can't say that leg here back leg closer to the floor oh it's so hot today i'm so sweaty already although i'm like i'm i'm barely moving and i'm sweating I bring that leg down there. And up again. Bend that back leg straight in the front leg. Point the foot, come up here. And lean forward with a straight back. Maybe hold on to the wall. Closer to the floor, roll that leg, the front leg in, move the other leg a little bit so that you can come down here onto the floor. Keep your chest, bum is up, and we feel a nice stretch in the inner hamstring of the straight leg. Okay. Up again. Whew. Rotate those wrists. Going back. I was wondering, I was thinking, oh, it sounds, it sounds cold. And those arms. Yeah. We come up again, right? One foot goes to the front, the other one goes to the back, and we bend the front leg. The back leg stays straight, both feet are on the floor. My head is cut off, I know, I'm sorry. Was ich am liebsten mal zum Abkühlen. Kommt drauf an, schwitzen. <lacht> Straight in the front leg and then forward. Oder einfach die Füße in kaltes Wasser tun. Ist auch immer gut. Bend forward with a straight back. And up again, other side. Bend the front leg. Straight in the back leg and bounce a little bit. Land straight to the front leg and lean forward. Hi, really. Welcome. Land forward. Down with your hands. Back. The feet, and again, when the forward fold, where we move from side to side, yeah. thank you, thank you. Reach through your legs a bit, you can. Dancing here, there, there. And down onto your knees. You just get out of, the, out of the pool, nice. I wish I had a pool too. Press your leg. Boop. And come back here. Onto a back for a moment. Right onto a back. Ah, we're gonna do the slow pose. Have your hands at your sides for the moment. Let's stay here and let's breathe. Isn't it nice? Fußball ah, is mega. Yeah, I dusch die oft einfach nur so in der Dusche kurz kalt ab. Hände doll warm. 
Ich genieße es aber auch, wenn es zwei waren. One leg up, the other one up, and then we try to come to the plow pose. So we press our palms into the floor and lift those legs up here, right? And maybe we get up until here and that's it. Maybe we get closer to the floor. Boop. Depending on our level of flexibility. Wherever you're at, it's great. Enjoy the stretch. Maybe you can bend your legs. If that feels good for you. Straighten. Ah, let's roll back. Do you have a new tattoo? Well, not completely new, but um, I did. Uh, yeah, there was some work made on this tattoo because this tattoo is a work in progress, and I had something done. I think one or two more sessions, oh, and then it's all done. The deck is Um, well, you could technically. Man kann theoretisch mit Deck schlafen. Ich habe die Decke so halb auf mir drauf, aber ich bin auch eine Frostbeule. Aber man kann auch schon ohne Deck schlafen jetzt. Legs up here, right? Up here. And then, bam, let them drop to one side while looking to the other. Feeling a nice spine twist. And up. Oi. And towards the other side. Ah, so nice. Ah. Come up again. Come into a kneeling position here. And hands behind your bum here or our lower back. Lower back bum, like where our lower back meets our bum. We press the hips kind of forward and lean back. Nice. Down for a moment. We're gonna do that again. And the next time we're going to try to grab um, our heels while we do that. But if that's too much, you can just stick with the exercise we just did. What's your favorite stretch? I don't know, it depends on the day. Uh, there's a lot of stretches that I like. I really enjoy down dog. This is stretch that feels really good, but it always depends on the day. And up. And now instead of having our hands here, we might try to put our hands on our heels and push. Now we hold it. And up. So. Whew, it's so hot. I'm gonna get myself something cold to drink. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Don't run away. I'm going to play an ad break because I won't be here, but I'll be back in a minute. So yeah, see you in a minute.
going to put that back on. Hi, Elle. Welcome. Let's set your shoulders. We come into the tabletop position again. And now we, with that arm, we reach through here to the floor and rest our shoulder down and uh, feel a nice stretch in that shoulder, in that back. Arms, other side. <sighs> oh, this feels so good. Feel it. Up. And the puppy pose again. We did that before, I know. We're going to do it again because it's so nice to bring your chest towards the floor. Your bum stays up there. More shoulder stretches, hands against the wall if you have a wall, and bring the chest and the arms to the wall. Okay. Okay. Right, really. Release as you know your scalp brown. Okay. <laughs> Der Rock, da ist eigentlich das, das ist ein Rock zum Paddel spielen eigentlich. Ich trage den fast nie, weil ich eigentlich keine Röcke trage. Aber ich dachte, ey, ich habe ihn seit langer Zeit und nicht mehr benutzt. Zum Paddel spielen. So. Come back into the straddle position. I want to get those yoga blocks somewhere close already because we might use them. Using a dance account, okay. So let's come back into the straddle position. Your phone died. Ah, okay. Let's come back into the straddle position. Just your skirt. Oh my gosh! This. Black, black, there's, there's, oh, I gotta wait a second. <laughs> there's black pain from my tattoo. It's on there. It's like so typical. <laughs> yeah, it's oozing black pain. It's oozing black pain. No problem, but it smells like. Calamaris or something here. Someone's cooking. Someone's cooking. So <laughs> let's clean that a bit so that the stains won't stay. I don't know. They probably just go away. I mean, it's just it's just tattoo ink. But... <laughs> so out here again. Right. Move back and forth like we did before. Maybe you will have to have your hands behind your back again. Maybe not. Up to you. Hi, Mighty Joe. Welcome. In the middle, feeling over to one side and slide slowly down. Maybe you got a bit deeper than you did before because we did that in the beginning, right? Maybe not. Doesn't matter. Just feel good. Feel good. Ah. Oh.
Let's grab those yoga blocks if you have them. You don't need to use yoga blocks, of course. What's your favorite food? Um, it's hard to tell because it always depends on the day, but I really like, I like oats. Stuff with oats and nuts. Um, and dried fruit lately, fruits. But I also like a lot of vegetables and yeah. I always like to do, well, get my, do myself some vegetable breaths. I just like buy like iceberg. Is it called like, lettuce? Iceberg. So lettuce. I like lettuce. And then I um, make like some wraps with the lettuce. I put like sometimes chicken or egg or cheese or sometimes just vegetables into the lettuce and I roll it up and then I eat those uh, lettuce wraps. This is like what I mostly eat. Um, I eat a lot of them. With a lot of different vegetables and i like i like mixing vegetables with like fruit as well so like if you have like virtually you make a vegetable pan with like i don't know tomato and carrots and pumpkin pumpkin is really great and um i always do onion i always put onions and um onions and ajo what is ajo ajo is like uh uh garlic I have garlic in it and stuff and chicken breast or eggs or something and then I put it into my salad prep and oh, it's really nice and of course chili there's always chili in there I put chili in everything and cilantro I love putting cilantro in my food and then maybe like some some mango on top or some pineapple or some other fruit like to give it like this taste Sweet taste as well. It's like a perfect. This is the perfect, the perfect lettuce wrap. Is like with a, a lot of vegetables, some protein like chicken or eggs or something, and then a slice of some sweet fruit. And then I eat like a don't I don't like a bowl or <laughs> huge bowl of that. Let's move back and forth here with those yoga blocks underneath the feet. Up and down. Uh, uh. Yeah, mango is equal to plus time. Let's come onto our elbows here, do our forearms here again if we can. Point your feet, maybe wiggle your toes. Up again. Lean over to one side. And to the other. Even tougher. Oder chili in smoothie. Okay, aber ich, ich trinke, weil ich mir wenig Smoothie ist. Ich esse mein Essen lieber. Back to the middle. Let's come down here, leading with our chest. But if this is too hard for you, you can still be with your hands behind your back, pushing to the front, right? But maybe you can come down here, leading with your chest, not with your head. up away with the yoga block oh, just grab my charger my phone is almost out of battery because I was out all day I was out all day just out all day Mm -hmm. 
So nice. I love this skirt. I love this skirt. Ja, durchaus. Jetzt kann. Und wir seid hier. Right. Und wir seid. Ah, oh, I gotta change the chair there for a moment. We come onto our side. Uh, we rest our arm here. Can you do a handstand? Sometimes I can, sometimes I cannot. We come here onto our side like that in a comfy position. And what we do first is we do some clamshells. Just like to to open up those hips to train and to move the hip joint. Right? Reist noch in den Urlaub, wo du lebst? Äh, Reist noch in so dieses Jahr? Äh, ich denke nicht. Also ich werde vielleicht nach Deutschland fahren und meinen Vater besuchen oder so. Oder vielleicht eine Freundin in Budapest. Mal gucken. Weiß ich aber noch nicht. Ähm, aber ja, ich fahre wenig in Urlaub. Es ist schön hier. Ich bin aber auch mal viel beschäftigt. Urlaub ist so eine Sache, die ist natürlich super cool, wenn du irgendwo hinfährst, aber ich will halt, wenn ich irgendwo hinfahre, würde ich halt gerne länger bleiben, weil ich mir die Sachen gerne richtig angucke. Also ich bin nicht so der Fan davon, dass du irgendwie so irgendwo eine Woche Urlaub machst und dann bist du wieder weg, weil dann siehst du einfach auch voll wenig von dem Ort. Ja. And okay, now. Leg up. And um, straighten it. And maybe you grab it here at your thigh or at your calf or if you're more flexible you can grab it at your heel. A super size mark of D, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I just need to... Well here it's uh... It's eight something. Straighten that leg and hold it. I don't understand what you mean by that, uh, uh, Riley. Bring that lower leg a bit in, and then tap that foot to the floor. And someone just followed, I cannot see who, but someone just subscribed. So that reminds me, thank you everyone for being here and working out with me, supporting my content subscribing to the channel, enjoying what I enjoy. Let's enjoy that together. Point your foot. And down. Boom. And up. Let go. Move it straight up again. With her. You answer question? Ah, uh, question and answer on your channel. Ah, question and answer, you mean? I understand. Now I understand. I, I thought I thought you might like. Can you do? Uh, I was thinking it would be some like fitness, some sports move or something. I was like, I have never heard of a kna. What's a kna? I thought maybe that's a crazy yoga pose or something. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Of course. Why not? Why not? But like you mean in a live stream or like we could like look. We could also like prepare the questions for the with a with the post and then so we already have them. Because probably if we just do a live stream with a question and answer, then people won't be there. And um, people will just ask something every five minutes. <laughs> That's some work out yeah. Aber der rockt ja zum Paddelspielen, deswegen hat er ja eh so ein Höschen drunter. Das ist ja so schön daran. So, next thing we gotta do. We, go, God, we gotta do, we do it. Um, we lift that leg up. And we try to bring that leg 
behind our shoulder, right? If we can. I won't be able to do that a lot today because of my tattooed arm, but I kind of hold it here. With the other hand, other foot, I grab that leg and I try to extend the leg here. But this is very advanced, so no need to do that <laughs> if you are a beginner. <sighs> and let go. Uh, let's come on to our back for a moment before we do the other side. And open and close those legs. Open and close. Seven. And up, and let's go on to the other side. Hi, Richard. Hi, Ryan. Good day. How are you doing? Alles gut trinken im Munde. Ja, gut trinken ist sehr wichtig. Hydration is very important. So, but let's do the other side. See you on the other side. How long, how long? So, down here. Yes, it's great. It's so nice. And we will still have it for about one and a half months. So, one and a half months of the beautiful green hair. Okay, Khaled, it's enough, right? Let other people write something as well. We understand your excitement, but please don't write so many emojis, right? It's okay. To write an emoji once in a while is okay, but this is, uh, this is a lot. What color next? I don't know, maybe something red or yellow or... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm open to different color types. So, we will see. Maybe orange. Uh, let's come on to that side here. Oh no, I'm... Um, um, it, this is, wait a second, I have to get a towel. I have to get a towel because I'm, I'm making everything dirty here with my, uh, with my paint, for my tattooed arm. I was freshly tattooed. So. I don't want to get the yoga mat. Hi, Jacka. I'm good. How are you? Stretching here. Oozing black paint onto my yoga mat. So. Um, my kitty, like, they are both okay. Um, it's hot. One of them is very, very tired these days. So let's see how that goes. But she's old. So it might be the weather. So. We come onto that side right into comfy pose and then we start with the uh, clamshells here to move those hips Ooh. moving the hips up and down Ooh. yes this is uh the, the the beginning part here is pretty easy this is just not so much stretching, but it's like more mobility, but mobility is important too. Guys, it's so warm today. I mean, I feel I'm probably like feeling hotter because of the freshly tattooed skin, because my arm is really hot. Because it's also like wrapped into transparent film, so it's even hotter. Yeah, the orange will look super nice. We'll see. Maybe I will mix some colors together. But that's, that will happen like in August, September or something. Because we can leave those in for two months, two and a half months. And then we have to leave them out for a while. So that will be at the end of summer or in autumn. So now we stay up here. Hmm. 
up and straighten the leg. And you might have to hold it at your thigh or your calf or if you're more flexible, your heel. But you can hold it wherever, right? Here's fine. And straighten it. Feeling a nice stretch there in the hamstring and the outer inner thigh a little bit. Ooh. Even come down here if you want it. I feel so stiff today. Let's go. Quick rest. Don't forget to breathe. Am I still moving with pain? Yes, I am. <laughs> now let's bring that leg kind of behind her shoulder, more or less. It doesn't have to be all the way behind, but like the notion is to get it a bit behind and grab it with the other foot. But this is super advanced. So if you're not advanced at stretching, you might not want to do that. Hi, Joseph. Welcome. And straighten it. Ah. Today I feel very stiff. Ah. Ah. And ah, let go. Oh, yay, yay. And to our backs for a moment. Ah. Enjoying that stretch. If you have a band, if you have a stretching band, grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Where's this? Let's see. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that then. Thank you. Then. If you have a band, put the band around that foot. If you don't have a band, you can hold onto your foot or just use a, or to your, your leg here or use a towel. <laughs> well, it, just, it doesn't have to be a stretching band. It can be any kind of band. It's just to hold that foot in place because when we hold the leg, it's not as comfy as holding the foot. You could use a towel even or whatever, like a shirt. Because like this, we can just let the foot kind of hang there. It's like... It's, I feel that it's more comfortable, especially for a nice stretch, stretching session today. Because today we're keeping it slow, right? We don't, we don't push it too hard. That is more sadly. <laughs> we don't push it too hard. We, we take it slow. All of you had a long week behind you. Some of you still have Friday ahead of you. And I had a long day going to Palma by train. It's always like, it's okay, but it's quite a while. It's quite a while, kind of rain. And then I went to the park and I did aerial silks at the park because my friend, the one I'm doing aerial silks with, he's back, he's back from visiting her parents in Germany. So we can continue doing that at the park. And it was like getting so hot when the sun was out. Wow, it was really hard. It was really hard. We're not used to that anymore right now. We gotta get used to it again. You just like power through even though it's sunny. So I think, yeah, you can get yeah, cook me some nice dinner. We can. <laughs> Although actually, I just before the stream I had a, I had a mango. Let's pull that like further in. Your microwave and oven is well, okay. Then don't cook me dinner. I I'm I'm okay with like raw food. I like eating raw stuff. So you don't even need to microwave and oven do stuff for me. You can just like cut some vegetables and put them on a plate, and they can be raw. And then it's okay. Maybe some chicken. The chicken not raw, please. Right? The chicken has to be cooked, obviously. <laughs> <sighs> Pull it like here. And up. A fruit tray, right? Perfect. That's perfect for me. A fruit tray is great. 
see this is like this is my this i love food fruit so it's to the other side other side ah hand holding ah. hmm. Before the stream, I had a mango and two yogurts. Like one yo two yogurts that I really like flavor. It's like they're uh, they have like some kind of oats in them also. And I had to eat them because they they kind of they expired on the twenty fifth of May. But all we all know, yogurt doesn't expire. Like you can always eat it like a week later or a month later, right? It's not. It's just like you have should fast before, but it's like not really expired. So. I was thinking I didn't have time to eat the yogurt lately and was like, oh my god, like I have to eat it someday because I don't want to throw it away. And today when I came back on the tattoo session, I was like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna eat that mango and you're gonna finish those yogurts. And now they're gone. So, yes, yeah, so I didn't have to waste them and they were still good. Smoothie green machine, the smoothie is nice. Well, I'm, I'm not a big smoothie fan actually, but I like the stuff that goes into a smoothie without being smooth. <laughs> yeah microwave is no we have a microwave here and i haven't used it once um like to the side if we can maybe you have to move for that i haven't used it once actually in my old apartment i was using a microwave sometimes for my coffee but now i use the water cooker the 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 electric kettle i mean and um and back in and I don't even, it, I think the microwave is not even plugged in. Thank you. <laughs> no. No, um, I won't marry anyone. I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm not the kind of girl that you marry, right? You know, so boop. <laughs> so now put the, the bed around both of your feet. And pull them towards you like that. You can even like pull them apart a bit. Right, a bit apart so you can see they're like this apart. <laughs> and pull. 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 Okay, we have to go back a bit because actually I want to I want to roll into a blog post at some point, but that's not possible with a the mirror there, so come back here. Pull. It's kind of a like wider plow pose, right? I show you a bit like this. Ah, you can see. It's like wider, it's not like this, it's like this. And then up. And Just, but if that's like hurting your spine or something, you should like double your mat, fold your mat, or maybe not do it or put a towel underneath your mat. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Few more. Damn. And let's stay here. Maybe bend your leg. Move those hips from side to side. <laughs> if you can, just if it's okay for you. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Uh, roll back. <sighs> Again, I spilled black <laughs> There's black ink everywhere. It is how good to get a girlfriend. How would I know how to get a girlfriend? Like, be nice to a girl, talk to a girl. Um, yeah. Just like be yourself as well. Hopefully, your good self. But like, just one day. <laughs> He's through. Um, gamer3390, um, you have to write in, in German, English or Spanish so we can understand what you're writing because, yeah, I cannot understand that, so I don't know if you, like, might be writing some weird stuff. 
Wait a second, I gotta check something here. Boop. So, I'll be right back. I mean, I'm here, I just wanna read something. Nutriple blenders are fantastic at blending frozen fruit, okay? Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not, hi, Lucas. Welcome, Lucas Marquez. Um, and welcome back, Charlie. Okay. Just had this there. So now we're going to keep doing what we did, but um, <gasps> we might not need the band. We might not need the band. Um, we kind of come onto a back here, right? Onto a back again. And now we come into the peppy baby pose. So we grab the outside of our legs and then we roll from side to side. Ooh. What I really like when I'm thinking about fruit, I think maybe I will eat that tomorrow. No, I think tomorrow I have to prepare some other stuff. I think I still have some pumpkin to eat. I don't know. Um, what I really like is when I have my, I like oatmeal and then like the oatmeal, of course, like with fruit. And then I put like whatever, like always apples in there and some other fruit and frozen strawberries. And if the oatmeal is fresh and hot, it's such a nice, like, uh, it's such a nice combination with the frozen strawberries. I just had to think about that. So nice. And now if you want to, if you can grab those heels, maybe, and straighten the legs here. We're going back to the pool, okay? Take a, take a jump at the pool for us too. We need some cooling down as well. Baby pose. <laughs> yes, of course you can do it while asking for that. But it's called the happy baby because I mean, it's kind of like a baby in their crib rolling around. Like, <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't know. <laughs> so, but now this is not, this, this is another pose. I don't know what this is called. I think this is kind of a reverse pancake. Out. <laughs> Out. Feet touching and out. Oh. Oh. Ah, I cannot read after I went to get the heels, but there was no spirit well. <laughs> and well, if you got to grab the heels, that's already something, right? You got to start somewhere, so start like <laughs> but it's not, and, and it's like not actually a split, right? If you see that, it's like more of a pancake because when you took, look from the side, right? From the side. You see, this is not a split. Like a split would be like completely to the side, but this is like more, right? It's not a split. This is, but we could try to get those, you know, those feet to the floor. When we do that, bounce them to the floor. To the floor with those feet. <laughs> if you can, you could maybe even hold your calves if it's easier or here, right? Coming for everyone who doesn't like feet. They're like so close to the cab right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Up and down. And back. That's real. That's really you have made. Well, you made that. You, you made me break the post to read your comments. <laughs> so, now we're here. Most of the weight on that leg. Rub our hand down here. And again, we try to grab that heel. Right, head here, and maybe we can lift it up like that. If we cannot do that, no problem. Then we just go halfway, which is okay too. And then we go all the way up and down. And on the next one, we come onto the forearm here and do the same thing. Maybe this is easier for you. Okay, 
But you don't, just like I said, I really like, I don't, I don't need anything cooked. And I'm like not a good cook myself. Like I have a pan, I put water into that pan and I throw in bit by bit different kinds of vegetables and then chicken and everything just like kind of boils and then I eat it and then they wrap it up in my, in lettuce and I eat it. So let's tap down, have food here on the floor. And up. Point those feet. And again. Boop. And up. And we switch sides. Start with the first side. With the first side, with the first move. Ah. You can't be yourself because you are pretty. Yes, I am. A veggie and fruit. Yeah, and I mean, I also eat like grilled chicken. You can't just buy grilled chicken, like from those chicken stands. <laughs> okay, or like Mexican food. I really like Mexican food. Let's do the other side. You either get halfway or all the way up. You can grill while well. that's super white. That's perfect, right? You just cut the vegetables and the fruits and leave them raw, and then you just grill something. If it's if it's beef, it can be like half raw too. If it's chicken, obviously not. <gasps> Down. And up. And now the second position where we get onto or elbows here, right? Same thing. We grab and we see we get halfway up or maybe we get all the way up. <laughs> work of calories, yeah. Because the Mexican restaurant, we probably like eat a lot of calories. Up and uh, hi, webmaster diplomat, welcome. And down. Yeah. I really like, I really love huevos y guafiados, enchiladas rojas. So good. And again. Boop. Down here. And up. Boop. And now. Let's do the thing where I put my legs behind my head, right? We haven't done that today. We haven't done that in the last session, I think. But the one before. So, we go out here. And we try to bring those. Ah, uh, well, it's, it's hard. Uh. This is also advanced. You might not want to do it. Ba, 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 dee, da, ba, ba, da. Ah! Ah! And down. Arms to the side. Make sure to make some ink stains onto your yoga mat. Legs up and let's uh, roll the legs to one side and we look to the other, the other direction for the moment. And I said it last time already, but like for, about mango, for example, because since we're talking food, I really like to eat mango and eat the peel as well. Like the mango with mango peel is like the combination is so good. Like everyone who's like peeling a mango and is not eating the mango skin, it's just sad because mango skin is very delicious, right? Just so you know. Ah. From Niagara Falls. Oh, that's. Probably really nice there, right? I like, haven't ever seen Niagara Falls, but I've seen Fort Iguazu. It's like in South America, also some waterfalls. And I imagine Niagara Falls must be, yeah, also as beautiful or differently beautiful, but like huge waterfalls are just great. Ta -da! Yeah, they're pretty, right? Although I guess there's a lot of tourists all the time, right? You always see the pictures and it seems like it's like it's like there's no humans and it looks so idyllic, so like so quiet and then if you go there it's probably super loud because of the water and obviously it's gonna be a lot of tourists like that. Because there's always people everywhere. Not so much, yeah, well I imagine that I'm too many people, huh? Let's come into a Tabletop position again here, right? Like we did in the beginning. And we come up 
Into the down dog. <sighs> A nice down dog here again. Paddling it out. Then into wider stance. And walk up here. We hang down. Swing from side to side. Oh no. Put the towel away for a moment. Put it under the So many things everywhere. <laughs> Where's the universe? <laughs> well, I wish I was with the universe. I am in Mallorca. This is an island in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it's part of Spain. Ben one leg. Uh, never been seen. Well, we are all what we are, and it's okay. As long as everyone, like, I think, like, as long as you, like, tolerate other people and you're, like, you're being kind and funny and nice, everything. It doesn't really matter what you are. How many boyfriends did you have? <laughs> How many boyfriends? Um, it's hard to say. Like real boyfriends that are like that I would consider boyfriends. Very few, like. Two to three, maybe. Like, I don't know if I can consider all three of them boyfriends. Maybe two. Uh, men that I slept with? I don't know. Uh, Trezillian. <laughs> right? Many. <laughs> I lost count. I'm a simp for Mauti. Right, for my cat. I'm desperately trying to get her attention, then she desperately growls at me and things like that. Oh. Yeah. June, can you get your head to the floor? Then, and extend. And Yeah, I mean, I mean, this word's like, it's a weird word anyway, like, what does it mean? Can be positive, can be negative, it has such a negative cling to it, but, I mean, as long as people are nice, it, it doesn't really matter, right? The first time people said that, uh, was more mentioning that for me, the word, simp word, I was thinking that simp, came from simple and that it came from people who said simple things and I was like why 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 are people like saying like why like what, what does that even mean and I didn't uh, yeah I misunderstood that at the beginning let's rotate those first <laughs> what's happening to the music Don't fight, guys. Don't fight. This is a good, feel good zone. What's happening? Did I turn off the music? Ah, there it goes. This goes the next. Ta -ta -da! The next song. So, let's come into the straddle again, right? We're gonna straddle again. And up and down. Don't fight. I don't don't get like fighty about dumb stuff as words. I mean, what else is he gonna fight about if you're not fighting about? Uh, uh. 
Come up and down. What an old man. Three lines. Let's lean over to one side and let's lean over to the other. Try to just work. Uh, from side to side again. And maybe you can touch your toe or your toe, right? Your foot, the opposite hand. Maybe even your toe, actually. Actually, toe wasn't so bad. Some got triggered, yeah. This is true, huh? Over you <laughs> but I'm thinking yesterday I was playing Fortnite at night, like not streaming because I was wanted just to get one skin. I gotta play the new season though. I'm gonna play tomorrow on Twitch. And there's like this song, and I was thinking I gotta learn that dance because it's so funny. It's like I'm vital, I'm vital. Oh my gosh, how does it go? I don't know. But was it's a funny, it's a funny dance. I wanted, I want to learn it. I want to learn. Does anyone of you guys know it? Anyone playing Fortnite? It's one Fortnite dance. It's funny. I was thinking because I'm doing, I'm doing TikToks and then sometimes YouTube Shorts. I think it's like a good way to learn new people, right? And it's a fun dance. Like not all of the dances are fun. But this one seemed fun to me because it was like this. You're a very young granddad, right? How old are you? You're already a granddad? Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, depending on like when the, when someone gets a child, people can become granddads like really, really early. How do you do? I'm doing it. So the dance was something like, I think it was like, uh, I'm vital, I'm vital. Okay. Oh, no, okay. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's bring our feet together in a butterfly stretch here. Back is straight. Up. Shoulders dark. And I heard like in this new Fortnite season, you can ride on raptors, on velociraptors. And I remember that like four years ago or something, like I have, I played the first one Fortnite came out, like the Battle Royale, I played one round on Jay's account and then never again. And I was like, I don't want to play. And he was like, I'll play. And I said to me, I'm going to play Fortnite once you can ride on velociraptors. And well, I started playing two years ago. So like they're late with that, but Fortnite finally listened to me, right? I said that like, Four years ago, I said that I'm gonna play Fortnite when once you can ride dinosaurs. So finally, 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 the dream is coming true. <laughs> Six years old already? Wow! Wow! Your kids. <laughs> yes, I do. 
six years. So like, it's already like an actual human, like talking and everything. <laughs> because children like, until I, when, I think when they're four or something, they, uh, because I was working in my, my, my mom, she had a, a, let's like move one leg to the side, the other one here, right? And then we lean over while I'm talking. Um, my mom, she had a kindergarten and I was sometimes working there. And they were like, had like these really small kids and like, yeah, you couldn't talk to them. But like, I think when they started to be four or five, you could actually like have a conversation with them. Like not the most like uh, interesting conversation, but you could talk about stuff. It started when you were 17, wow. It's a lot of, there's a lot of responsibility for such a young person. And nowadays, these days, it's not so normal, right? Not so like, because like, I remember like, for example, my mom, she had like a first child with 18. And back in the day, it was just like so normal. Like there was my brother and my brother was 14. There was, yeah, 14 years older than I am. So like, I'm the youngest, I'm the youngest of three. I just lean over to the other side. I'm the youngest and yeah. My mom had my brother when she was 18 and it was normal back then in the 70s. Like why? Well, this is just, this was just a typo. Don't, don't. And yeah, don't feel, don't even feel like, like he's talking to you. <laughs> Up and down here. Up and down. Let's stay at the lowest point, right? At a lowest point, maybe this is your lowest point, or maybe your lowest point is still up here, right? Doesn't uh, doesn't matter. We are where we are. We are the world. We are the truth. Ah, solo. Are you still there? By the way, I listened to that Iggy Pop song, but solo. I don't know if he's listening right now. I listened to that Iggy Pop Pop song in the death car, and like. The lyric is like it's like would not not be my favorite song, but the lyrics were interesting. <laughs> and stop. Oh, I like it, Christian. He usually does not troll people, so just don't do triggers. Is this a new side? <laughs> this triggery side is a new side. Sí, hoy también con falda, con faldita. Es para, para jugar el paddle, pero bueno, es también bueno para, para hacer yoga. Sí, muy bonito. Muy bonito. Stop fighting. Stop writing so mean things. Everyone has a chance to make it in life, right? Especially if you're here in my stream, you have a chance to make it. Let me be your guru. Follow me and everything will be all right. There's no need to, to be mean here. We're all having a good time. And it's okay to tell me that that they that they'll make a fruit plate for me, right? I do like fruit plates. But he didn't actually call you out. You just like you reacted. You should just have like let it go. You you now 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 you now he's calling you out. Maybe now he just let's talk about something else. Sí. Sí, sí. Una copa de vino. Bueno, yo no bebo vino, pero a lo mejor una cervecita. Aunque hace tiempo que no bebí cerveza, que hace tiempo que no bebo alcohol. 
pero cerveza sí que me gusta. Cuando hace mucho calor, una cerveza muy fría, bien, bien fría, es muy, muy deliciosa. Like, I don't drink alcohol, I was just saying, but like when it's really hot, like a really cold beer is really nice and refreshing. But yeah, I haven't had alcohol in a while. I don't, I don't even know when I drank the last time when I drank alcohol. It's a long time ago. Down again. And now let's grab those yoga blocks again, right? We're gonna put the yoga blocks underneath our feet. And I'm going to ooze some more black paint onto the floor. Yeah. Up here. Boop. Boop. Ah. Feet up. And feet up and chest down if you can. To intensify that stretch. Let's intensify this match. Oh. Sit down. And up again. Leaning over to one side. We still gotta do the normal split, right? We didn't do that. Where is it? But for me, it's not been that long. I had, I had some alcohol. I think I had a, did I have a beer or wine or something like. I had a beer at least last summer. So, but I don't know if I had anything since then. Okay, let's try to get into the splits here. Oh, not into the splits yet. First of all, we're gonna stretch a little bit more, 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 more. Okay, low lunge. And now we grab the back foot with the opposite hand, if we can. If we cannot, doesn't matter. Then we just stay in a deep lunge. Ah, uh, hold it. This black ink at my leg. Okay. How did that get there? I don't know. Other side. Ah, grab that back foot if you can. Let go. Come up into down dog. Extend a uh, length. Point the feet or come up. Heels away from the mat and down. And away from the mat. And back down again. All the way down. Up, up. The chat is suddenly so quiet. So, now let's try to slide out into the split. I'm going to use um, these yoga blocks, which will make it easier to slide out um, and to not twist my hips. If you don't have yoga blocks, you don't need to use them. You could use books or just do it without them, but with them, it's, it's easier. I tell you. It's Sometimes it's easier to run. Oh, that was Lincoln Park. Ah. Okay. Up here. Down here, I mean. And let's slide out. Dancing up and down. Ah. Hold it here. 
I don't think we're gonna go down all the way today because like I said, I think I missed this, so we'll leave it at that, I guess. I'm gonna do the other side though. <clears throat> Another side, um, bam, bam, and behind. Uh, let go. Into the puppy pose again. Nice shoulder stretch. Let's stretch the tops of our feet again. Walk closer in. Ah. And up. On our back. 88%. 88%. So guys, friends, who is almost out of battery? So, we're almost, almost at the end here, right? Almost at the end. We're going to get into the pole pose once more. So, come onto your back, lift those legs up, you can move the feet a little bit, trying to your lower back, well there's a lot of things that you could do, like for example like the easiest one is just being on like in this position and Maybe put your hand underneath your lower back and press your lower back into the floor, right? This is the easiest one where you just like don't put any load on it. Like pressing down here, down. Or also the glute bridge, which is, a, which is a glute exercise, but it's also good for a lower back if you like roll up vertebra by vertebra, for example. These two have a good way to train the lower back. Let's Come into the plank, this is the flow pose, roll over guys, if you can, Let's stay here for a moment. Move the hip from side to side, maybe bend your legs and keep moving them. down here hands overhead and of course the exercises where you lie on your back and you lift your legs up and your back on your on your belly and you lift your legs up these are very good for your for your lower back as well but these depending on your daily form might be not so uh, comfy to do so let's grab those heels again, out, see if we get any lower here, maybe four, bouncing, and in, but on. Let's come up. So like, I'm talking these exercises, right? Where you then just like lift your legs up. These are pretty good for the lower back as well. So, 
<clears throat> Root dog. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one for your lower back as well. For your lower back, your bum, your core. Like this is training all the area. This is true. So the bird dog is a very good example. You can do like when you're bring knee and, and elbow together and then out and together and out and you do obviously you do both both sides and the good thing about this one is you can um you can like you can make it harder once you realize that it's easy for two years to do or you want to do less reps and you feel comfy or, or we feel confident um looks too hard okay but if it's too hard then don't do but you could like add anchor weight or um weight to make it harder and uh, you could also like just do the the back part like that just like kind of like the donkey kick there for the bum but also for the back right you could just do this part but um if not these work very good right with your feet here and then lift up and up and you could start by just like having your feet down and lifting up and all the way down again and lifting off also a good way to train the lower back lower back yeah. i had sciatica but then i was um i uh, got operated so because it was so bad, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. And depends on what you have, like these exercises for your bum, like donkey kicks, or also the clamshells, for example. Also doing these clamshells, or the ones where you have your leg like this. This is obviously a lot of leg, but you're also using your lower back when you do these exercises. So these are pretty good too, to complement the lower back thing. But yeah, the bird dog is also a good one. Yeah, it's terrible. This is really bad. If you feel it in all of your leg and your and your feet and everything, it's terrible. If you have a ball, it comes and goes. Okay, mine was like mine came and got, went, and then at some point it just didn't go away no more, and I just couldn't. I couldn't walk and I couldn't sleep and yeah. And then I still have to. I don't know if I have the I have the M MRI somewhere. If I ha I will look at it if I find it and I show you like how much of my of my of the disc actually was out. There was like a big piece out. So and yeah, I don't know where mine came from. It came gradually, but yeah, maybe from sports. Also, once like with a motorcycle, I used to have a motorcycle. I I it just fell on. <laughs> it was rainy and it just fell to the side. So, you could also do lower back exercises, like that. And once, like motorcycle exercises are terrible, right? I didn't have like really bad ones, but I had a, a few. And for one, it was my fault. Like it was dark, it was super cold, my fingers were icy, and the road just stopped. Like it, wasn't, it was a road, but then there was like this like pile of trash at the end. It just drove into that pile of trash. I saw it, I wanted to stop. I was like, Ivy, you gotta, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. You gotta hit the brakes. I was thinking it and I was so slow in doing it though. I just like drove right into it and I kind of drove up through the air and in it. And then I had a nail in my butt, like at the side. And I had, I plucked it out and I went home and uh, it was horrible. He was hit by one, okay. You were hit by one. Oh, that's worse. That's way worse than, hi Richard. That's way worse than like being a jerk like I was and just like driving right into a pile of trash. I deserve that, right? So, you also think if you have the big ball for your lower back, it's a good thing is like to do these lifts with your legs on the ball like that, right? Um, so this is also very good and I find these better than on the floor because you have a bigger range of motion because you can hang down here and go all the way up. And it's also more comfy for, uh, for, your, um, for your pelvis. Oh my gosh. 
Thank you, Richard. Well, this is a stream if you're talking about this. This is a stream. You were hit from behind? Like the, the music motorcycle like hit you from behind? And what were you like crossing a street or like how did that happen? Wow. You don't have a ball, okay? Then don't do it on a ball, then just do it on the floor. Oh my gosh. Well, this is live, Richard. This is not if, if this is not a video, this is live. Someone was asking for ball bouncing, so let's bounce on the ball. Bouncy ball. A bounce, 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 bouncy ball. Ba -ba, ba -ba. <laughs> ah, cute bouncing thank you it's nice bouncing it is ah so let's roll back and forth here to let go of any tension on over ah, he was driving okay so let's do oh my Oh my, what a like bad luck. Yeah, bouncy is really nice. nice. Bounce, 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 bounce to let you up all the tension, tension. Whew. Stretching our back a bit with the ball here. Back and forth. Okay. Oops. Oops. Yeah, well, who knows if, uh, I just got an email from Stream Elements. Promote Fortnite during your streams. Okay. But that's for my Twitch channel, I guess. Actually, because I'm happy to be lying. Lying. Wow, they want you to lie in court? Like, this is like, so... And I wonder, like, why is that necessary? Like, isn't it like, shouldn't it be enough that, like, the guy hits you with his motorcycle, like, to get, to get something out of it? Like, why do you have to, like... Yeah. Okay. But who knows if, like, you mean the lawyer or you mean the, um... Let's come onto her back. <sighs> You mean the lawyer or the uh, or the, uh, the driver? Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is like so true. That is so true. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that either. Like. I mean, depending on how much you get, okay, but like, 
I mean, you just have this one life and you just like, why, like, yeah, why waste it like that? Like, sitting there and you have to go to all the appointments, you're going to lose other stuff for that. The bad thing is that these things keep, like, a lot of people, like, from maybe, like, getting a, getting a, um, getting the money or something that they deserve. Not just like in accident case, but in other cases too. But yeah, like why waste your life, right? I would, I would think I'd say the same. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was, uh, yeah, he was punished. He was punished. We could do a shoulder stand like as a like one of the last one of the last thing because we gotta end the stream soon. I gotta have my evening tea. But let's try to do a shoulder stand on both 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 sides. Both sides. So the shoulder stand is this one. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Let's try the other side. This is a shoulder stand. <laughs> a shoulder stand. No, you did. You did nothing wrong. You should. You. You just right. You should just should have reacted to to Animal Face saying anything, because. This life. Ta -da. Ta -da. And this also like, it depends if you like consider it being a sim, for example, um, um, insultation. Because there's actually people who are proud to be a simp. They say like, I'm a simp and I'm proud, right? There's people like that. And it's totally fine. Let's do one last, one last, I always say like one last thing, except it. nice fist bump. Boom. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I get it, kein Problem, willkommen zurück. This is like a, this is a pose where you ideally, you just, at the end, you're just on one arm, but I cannot do that, I'm on both arms. But yeah, this is also a very nice pose that we have to work on. I learned that in Capoeira when I was 14. That's 20 years ago! Oh my gosh! I learned that 20 years ago! Yeah, it, it probably is also breakdancing pose at some point. These things, they like all kind of like, they're kind of all intertwined, right? All these like acrobatics, capoeira, I don't know what moves. Handstand. 
I I have to end the stream soon, but I'm like I don't feel like ending it. Okay, is it the dumb bad things you cannot see? I'm tip and touching the wall here, so it doesn't really count. <sighs> Let's twist again, like we did the last summer. Na 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 na, let's twist again. <laughs> ah, when I'm your age, I don't complain. I don't complain. I enjoy. I just enjoy. With the fire, wildfires in Canada. Oh my. No, I've not. I've not. Uh, I have not keeping up with that. It's working so hard, right? Like we here, like we have some wildfires here sometimes, but this summer I hope it won't be so many because it's supposed to rainy now. Uh. Hi, Kai. Welcome. Okay guys, I I have to, <laughs> I have to end the stream soon or now like I I don't ha I don't have to I I'm, I want to have my evening tea one thing you're a layer of the ages. Follow there. Well, you don't. You, obviously, you cannot follow follow around with all the, because, like, we're all different. Like, you can probably do exercises that I cannot do. It's an accident. When it, on accident, like, you actually hurt yourself, right? It's 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 it's, uh, it's dangerous to do an accident. I don't. I don't feel like ending the stream. I don't know. I I I, I was feeling like I have to like have my evening tea, prepare my stuff, and. Because I have to get early tomorrow, I have pole class tomorrow, but I, I still feel like... Now I'm teasing you? Why? Because I say I have to end the stream and I do other things. <laughs> Difficult roll? Oh my gosh, like it must be so painful. So, yes, this is it, guys. I'm sorry. This is it. I see you again on Monday, same time. Well, earlier, like the usual time. Tomorrow, there's going to be a Fortnite stream on Twitch if you want to see me on Twitch, right? Twitch is always an option. Um, but yeah, if not, um, I'll, be, I'll be back on Monday here. Why? Because uh, this is a stretching stream. I'm freshly tattooed. I gotta take a shower, I gotta clean the tattoo, right? I gotta get rid of the foil. See, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. No, no, everything's good. Everything's good. Don't worry, guys. And, um, yeah. So, thank you so much for working out with me. See you soon. See you tomorrow on Twitch or Monday back here. Sweating, getting real sweaty. Getting real sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Better, better, sweaty, sweaty. I love this skirt. It's like, it's, it's just amazing. Ta -da! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Nos vemos. Ta -da! Didn't pick up. To, oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> so, everyone tell your kids not to, not to leave skateboards and rollerblades around. And have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.